Hi, welcome to Connect with Mobic, the professional series. I'm Jay Schubert, a physician and diabetologist at Chora University of California. And today I have with me Sunit Dillon, who's a PharmD who is experienced in medic medication therapeutic management. And we're going to talk about why clinicians should know about MTM. Dr. Dillon, thanks for joining us today. Glad to be here. So what is MTM? And I think it's important for us to know that many providers don't even know what that means. So if you could give us a basic description, that'd be great. Yeah, so MTM, it stands for Medication Therapy Management. It's uh, somewhat of a new service, but it's been there. Uh, overall, in a nutshell, it's a one-on-one -on -one patient-centered service in which is typically provided by pharmacists, but it could be by any qualified healthcare professional. But essentially what we do is we get a comp we look at a comprehensive review of all the patient's medications and determine are those medications appropriate for them and for their condition. We evaluate the uh, medications, the safety of the medications, as well as the efficacy of those medications. Wow. So, you know, I as a physician will calmly look at the medications I'm providing. I'll check in with the patient. But most of my patients see many physicians or many providers and what I'm hearing you say is that you actually collect information from the entirety of their providers and then look at the safety, efficacy, and appropriateness. Exactly, because mostly what patients do, like you said, they do meet multiple physicians and so oftentimes they may prescribe similar medications. So we really want to avoid any medication duplications or any other interactions that can occur. Now, I would imagine that would take a long time. Yeah, it could, but that's what the service is there for. Uh, typically, a uh, session could last about 30 minutes to even an hour. It's really whenever the patient's comfortable and fully understands everything, that's when we move on to the next step. At the end, it's always going to be the patient's the main goal, their understanding, to enhance their knowledge. So if it does take a little while, it's fine, as long as the patient understands. Sure. So as a provider... What should I know about MTM and why is this important for me to share with my patients? Yeah, so like we had discussed uh, just right now, that patients, they oftentimes meet multiple pr um, providers or they go to different pharmacies. And they, some pharmacies, they can't fully look at the full list of what the patients are taking and therefore they might miss interactions. That's why with this service, we ask all the the patients to bring in all their medications. This includes their prescription medications, any over-the-counter medications, supplements, um, vitamins, and then we sit down and look at them and see how they are taking the medications. Because oftentimes, you know, sometimes certain medications you have to separate it, for example, vitamins and certain medications by four hours, for example. So we really look at that and to, de to determine if they are doing that. Uh, sometimes certain doses might be a little too high for the patient or they might be taking two of the same medications because they visit two different um, physicians. So really, really look at that. And uh, also side effects, as you may know, uh, some patients, they adherence is a biggest issue if, when it comes to medications and without adherence, their condition may not be fully, um, it won't improve. And so we try to improve adherence by making sure patients are taking the medications. And if we know side effects is the main concern, then we look at how can we avoid those side effects. Maybe there's a certain medication they can take and which will help improve their medication adherence. Uh, certain, for example, um, we have patients, uh, asthma, COPD patients, they come in and they're not even taking their medications or the inhalers properly. So we really sit down, really work with the patient one-on-one -on -one and just make sure everything is being done correctly and safely as well. And as you may know, uh, any condition, it's, it's complicated. Uh, patients need more information in understanding their condition. So we sit down, answer any questions they may have, provide any educational material we, we can provide to them for them to better understand their condition, whether that be for asthma, for diabetes, for hypertension. And at the end, like I said, it's always about the patient, the patient's health. And where would these patients get MTM? Is this something you do on the phone, you do at the pharmacy, you do at their house? So this is essentially done in a pharmacy setting, uh, but it can also be done over the phone. Yeah. We 
typically want to meet one-on-one -on -one in person just because it's the face-to-face -face interaction we can really kind of answer more questions understand you know are they really understanding what we're talking about or simplify the terms but sometimes it can be hard to come in person that's why we do provide it over the phone as well um, but that's mainly how we do it so uh, you know let's say that i think this is a great idea and i do i think it's amazing to improve the quality and the, and the comprehensiveness of care. How do I know if my patients are eligible? So typically this service is, uh, could be covered, it could be fully covered, especially for patients, Part D patients, it was targeted for them, and also for in, any Part D insurance plan sponsors as well. There's a legibility criteria, criteria that patients have to meet, and essentially if they are, they should have been communicated by their plans that they are legible, but if not, patients, can go ahead and call their insurance plans just to verify if they're legible and if they are they can go to any pharmacy consult with them and to see if they provide mtm service and um, definitely take the full benefit of the service then uh, so this sounds like something that's really valuable and let's say my patients are interested is this something i have to refer them to or can they sign up on their own patients can sign up on their own uh, it's it's, it's a free service. If they're eligible, they can go, go to the pharmacy and ask for this service for free. But we do recommend that physicians also refer their patients because not many patients know about this. And the more referrals, the more patients know about this service. And how will my patient, how will I know that my patient got MTM? So uh, typically when we do provide recommendations, we provide patients with, um, some type of a form or some type of communication form or pharmacists will directly you know fax the forms or recommendations directly to the uh, to the physician um, in hopes of you know seeing what's best for the patient and uh, we will let them know what we spoke about and our recommendations that we may have regarding their medication regimen. Wow so so it's really important that um, when I get that report I read through it and then what, what might, and I guess you're going to tell me here, what, what might I see in the report and who makes these changes? So any recommendation that we do have, we provide to the physician and because they have thoroughly you know, examined, they know their condition more, um, their history, all of that, physicians will make the ultimate decision of what's best for their patient for their patient. We will go ahead and provide the recommendation and we may even provide some type of um, study that supports it as well. But then this includes anything in terms of maybe increasing their statin dose uh, to make sure they are fully uh, safe. Uh, any safety concerns if they're maybe taking a medication and their renal function is not appropriate, we may say that, oh, this medication dose should probably be decreased. And any, for example, some patients don't take their medications because they're expensive. So, and this is because sometimes physicians, they uh, prescribe brand medications or a medication that's not on their formulary list. So what we do in MTM is we look at which medication is covered and what would be ultimately a saving cost for patients and provide that recommendation to physicians in hopes of, you know, maybe that change can happen at the end, having that patient save money. And I think for anyone that's new to MTM, it's really wonderful to see the kind of comprehensiveness of this report because it really looks at so many factors. And I learn a lot of new things about my patients as a result of that. If this is something that you really find of great value, there are cooperative practice agreements where you could be working with a pharmacist more closely. And we have a, a PharmD in our office who actually does titration of medicines. And that really, one, I think helps our patient get to go quicker and two, really gives them much more um, face time or healthcare provider time because we're really kind of getting them there. And I think that really is the next step. And MTM is the first step to really incorporate the PharmD or the pharmacist into our team for team-based care. Exactly. So MTM, my patient's gonna do it. What are the benefits? Well, we have an informed patient. Uh, informed patient, meaning they will and fully understand their medications, their condition, and they can help better manage their condition as well. Uh, safety would be a number one concern for any patient. We'll make sure that's covered. 
improve cost effectiveness, making sure the patient doesn't pay more than what they need to for their medications, and overall improved outcomes. So we have many overall patients with MTM, they've had a more positive medication experience and better results. And essentially, if it always comes down, is a patient adherent to the medications? And so with MTM, we ensure is patient fully understanding their medication. If they do have that knowledge, they can help manage their own condition themselves, become more active in their own health. I love that. And through, for my quality measures, my having the PharmD in our team has really helped us to make sure people are on an ACE and ARB when they need to be, make sure that they're on not complicating medications, making sure that we got the right, right dose of statin, aspirin when it's appropriate and when it's not. And so those things I think are really just value added benefits. And these are un, underutilized resources that our patients have. So we do have a case and, and you know, Dr. Dillon, if you'd walk us through the case, then maybe we could talk a little bit about where MTM could help. Yeah, so we have Roberta here. She's a 66 year old female with type two diabetes, hypertension, AFib, systolic heart failure, hypothyroidism, and COPD. She is on many medications. Her husband used to help her with her medications, but he passed away earlier this year. She is not sure what she takes for each condition, but she thinks she takes six pills in the morning and three in the afternoon, evening time. Wow. So Roberta here. So we know she's on, she has a lot of conditions and that itself can be a lot stressful for patients. She, you know, this is why with MTM, we can sit down and you know, explain all the conditions that she may have as she may have questions because it seems like her husband was the caregiver for her. But um, we do know that she doesn't have that much of a knowledge of what medication she should be taking. As you can tell, she says she thinks she takes six pills in the morning, three in the afternoon. So we'll sit down and you know, explain each of the medications and explain when to take each medication and what each medication is for to help enhance her knowledge about her medications and her condition. Yeah, and I think, you know, as I just screened this case, you know, somebody who's got hypothyroidism is supposed to be taking the thyroid medication separate from everything else. And you could imagine if we weren't taking the thyroid medicine correctly, is it going to affect atrial fibrillation or other things? And so this is really a great time to go back and re-educate someone about when to take their medicines, why they need to take them the way it is, and quite honestly, what they should expect as a result of that medication. Because I feel like to me, when people know why they're doing something, what they're doing, they're much more willing to do it over the long haul. Exactly. And with MTM, it really allows us to do that because when patients pick up their medications at the pharmacy, it's only a quick less than five minute consultation about that medication itself. Uh, even at the doctor's office, it's more of just focused on, you know, the uh, just that appointment time. So sometimes patients need probably needs a half an hour, an hour of just talking about their medications, about understanding what their condition is. And this MTM really allows patients to do that. Yeah, and I think that's a really just great, one of many examples of how our patients could benefit. So if you've enjoyed today's program, Connect with Movec, please take a look at our social media site. Certainly leave questions or comments. And I would invite any of the providers to reach out to us if you have further questions. We would be happy to, to speak with you about the benefits for you or your practice. Dr. Dillon, thanks for joining us today. We're so glad you were able to be here. Thank you.